When you make the decision, and I want everybody to hear me on this, even the adults in the room. When you make the decision to do what you want to do with your life, just know this. Because the family and the friends in your life do not share your vision, in most cases, they will be the first person to try and talk you out of what you want to do with your life. But know this, only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. So because they don't see what you see, doesn't mean that you're supposed to settle and not do the things that God has sent you in your mind and your spirit. To turn nothing into something, you start with ideas and imagination. So imagination, we call it nothing simply because nothing in terms of being tangible. But it is so real, it's almost real. So the first step is to imagine the possibilities. Now here's the second step of turning nothing into something. And that is to believe that what you imagine is possible for you. Here's what we call that second step, faith to believe. Faith is substance. Substance meaning a piece of the real. Now it's not the real, but it is so powerful that it's so close to being real. That it is possible to turn nothing, especially ideas and imagination. Now if you believe that it's possible for you, that substance and evidence becomes so powerful that it now can be turned into reality. Now here's the third step, and that is to go to work and make it real. You go to work and make it a podium. You go to work and make it a hotel. You go to work and make it an enterprise. You go to work and make it good health. You make it tangible. Now here's the last part. It takes the disciplined activity to turn nothing into something finally. Faith without the activity serves no useful purpose. But faith invested into the activity creates reality. You gotta have a vision. A vision for what it is you really, truly want. Not what you think you want or what you should have. I mean, what are most people's New Year's resolutions? Uh, I'm gonna stop eating sugar. You know, I'm gonna stop smoking. I'm gonna lose 10 pounds. Problem with that is, it's not very inspiring for most people. It has to be a compelling vision. It's gotta have something that has the power to pull you, not something you have to push yourself to do. Those are two different kinds of motivation. Push requires willpower, and willpower never lasts. What will last is pull. Having something so exciting, so attractive, so something you desire so much that you have a hard time going to sleep at night and you get so up early in the morning to a rocket and take it to the next level.